What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, 900 characters. <laughs> Silk got canceled, right, by Amazon Prime. And then, Brian, I saw this and I was like, what? It only made me interested if the I, idea that I propose... If it's done this way, and this is the Spider-Man Noir with Nicolas Cage. Correct. For me, it would only work for me if it was done s- not like, but so the inspiration from uh, Sin City. Sin City, hundred percent. That's the only thing. That's the only way it would work for me. Other than that, I, I, I don't know. W- what were your thoughts when you saw this and? The, what are your thoughts on the cancellation of Silk? Is I do, I know it doesn't fall under the same <clears throat> umbrella as Batgirl, but what are your thoughts on the on, uh, yet another cancellation of a female-led show or movie starring a Korean American? Incidentally, if you want to take it, if you want to take it <laughs> one step further, Cindy Moon was going to be their version of Silk. So the thing with this that was interesting was they actually apparently wrote a number of the episodes prior to the strike last fall. So yeah. they had a writer's room going. They had some episodes done. Lord and Miller, uh, who, of course, do the Spider-Verse animated films, were producers on this. And then Amazon fired everyone involved. They're saying they might shop the carcass of this to another streamer. But it doesn't sound like there's much left to pick up, which interestingly we saw the noir series getting greenlit with nicholas cage within two days of this happening Mm -hmm. so what it looks like to me is a little bit of star power hunting right nicholas cage even in his sort of reduced state is still kind of almost like a an attraction it's almost like he's a star he's he's entertainment so i think they basically were like we got nick cage he's willing to do this they're going to bank on him instead of this but all of this just leads to the same spot, which is like, yeah, the 900 characters thing's a joke. Again, it's, it's yeah. just Spider-Man. This will continue to happen. The Madam Webs will continue to happen as long as Sony and all of its partners are insistent that they can build an entire universe off of just this one character. I don't have much hope for this series because your point about Sin City is well taken. But Sin City is a pretty serious production. That's, a, that's, a, that's mm-hmm. an, an adult drama. Yeah, I don't know that Nick Cage is signing up to do an adult drama. No, I kind of no, feel no, like this would be a little stylier. I get I'm it, but about I'm expecting the, yeah. the tone to be a little more offbeat, a little quirky. Yeah, a little st- yeah, like, yeah that's probably not going to be for me, but I'll watch it. But that's probably not going to be for me. That'd be my guess. Yeah, well, we would have to wait and see to see what the audience thinks of this and what the critics are, are saying about it. But speaking of, um. Well, not critics, but people that would say something and you would be like, take note. But it really doesn't mean anything because they would they have to say this. Craven, they changed the release date. Right? Yeah, it's 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 now like November or December. It's later in the year. This is a this is a holiday film. Brian, what they're saying that they have high hopes for this film, Brian. Your thoughts. I mean, I don't think the trailer gave you a reason to have that. I mean, the, if you're if you're believing in the Craven project, the reason you might believe in it is that J.C. Chander is a pretty good director. He did Triple Frontier. He did Margin Call. Those are very interesting, different, <laughs> entertaining films. That If you're a believer, that's it. I'm not a big believer in Aaron Taylor Johnson as Craven. It doesn't work for me. I think it's a yeah. miscast. I think the trailer only served to underscore that for me. I didn't yeah, see yeah. action in the trailer that I thought was really cool. Yeah. yeah, the post the poster shows him wearing the trademark coat, but he doesn't really look that good in it, if I'm being honest. So, like, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a real uphill battle here. And quite honestly, like, audiences are smart enough. You can't just throw a Marvel banner on something and p- have people. First off, that doesn't necessarily carry the the gold that it that it used to anyway. But people know Sony Marvel versus Disney Marvel. People do generally know that. They know yeah. that like when they see the Craven thing coming, that this is the studio that brought you Madam Web. This is the studio that brought you Morbius. That's what they know. So they're not yeah. really going to trust this unless the reviews are banging. And I just don't see it. 
Anything else, Brian? The big one in the room is obviously, I don't know if we're doing a different show, but obviously Spider-Man 4. It's kind of what happens with that. I mean, supposedly that is coming. Let's do that. In 2025. That's the big mm-hmm. one. Uh, as I predicted, they are the, the big leak is that the symbiote, the Venom symbiote that supposedly crossed over within the multiverse is going to play a big role, which I could have told you. Tom Hardy is the only bank, other bankable star that Sony has, so he has to be in this movie. And so it sounds like you're going to get, you know, Tom Hardy and and Tom Holland as sort of headliners for for this. And yeah, there's some star power there. There's no question, but I don't trust it. Let's put it that way. And they do seem to be, man, they are rushing this. If they want this in the 25 calendar, this thing has to be in front of the camera within the next three, four months. They don't have a director. Yeah. They don't have a script. <laughs> you wonder about the star power. Who are the stars? Is it Tom Hardy, Tom Holland, or is it Venom or Spider Man? Venom to, Venom to, to that? me was. No, I don't. Like, how, like if, I, really... if I said, I got, I got Hardy and I got Holland, and yes, these have been two bankable guys in their own franchise in their own movies do you want to see them head to head i mean for me brian when i used to watch the spider-man animated series there was some history there between the two you know it, it just it just, it just seems forced I, I think that's a good word for it because the other the thing i keep turning over in my head is tom holland's affect as peter parker which works really well in the yeah. movies they've done and especially now what's interesting about the state of his character after kind of everyone else has been sort of wiped so that's the most interesting thing about this conversely it feels like tom hardy's eddie brock is so kinetic it's so chaotic it it just like fills the screen it yeah. it doesn't seem like the kind of persona that's designed to share if that makes sense in the top right. billing of a film yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm so interested in what's happening with our friendly neighborhood spider-man that it's just gonna to me it's just like I, I look at it it feels like a distraction it just feels like it's gonna every word time I was thinking Tom about. Hardy comes on the screen I'm like I'm I'm distracted from the thing I really care about even though I know yeah. there's a big movie star there it'll be interesting to see what sort of suspense they create because Venom is not Brian and I'll say this and, I, and we'll leave this Ven- Venom just like Ghost Rider because we already ha- heard some announcement, Brian, about Ryan Gosling being Ghost Rider, correct? Not for well, he's definitely not being Nova because we got news on Nova that we'll talk about no. in a different show, but which was the other rumor. I suggested that Ghost Rider be a horror movie. Yeah, I'm like down a, with that. Because, yo, there's no way a dude in a skull and, and flames is like, ooh, you take the kids or, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's supposed to be scary. It's supposed to be scary, Brian. If they do what they did to the Hulk with Ghost Rider, so, yo, I, I'm. I don't know what to tell you. This is the reason you should root for Deadpool and Wolverine and make a lot of money, because it is R-rated and it's their first attempt at R-rated, right? And the more Damn. the more success that has, the more that's probably going to embolden them. To, to take a chance on, an, on something like an R-rated horror, horror-oriented horror here's the ride. thing, Brian. But here's the thing. Yes, it's R-rated. What kind of R-rated? Language? Is it that is that the R-rated? And uh, perhaps the, 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 you know, Irreverent the, the, over-the-top violence. Yes. That's, that, that's good. It's what you've seen in Deadpool 1 and 2. That's what I assume. Yeah, yeah bad language and over-the-top violence. Yeah. But not rated r storytelling type rated r you know what i'm saying like yeah seven. you know what i'm saying like, like you know like something yeah silence you know? of the lamb seven yeah, like yeah, yeah, thriller exactly, horror exactly, art. Exactly, i guess exactly you. exactly yeah so that's where i need to get not just rated r for the sake of just calling it rated r let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the spider-man news the 900 characters the nicholas cage um Spider-Man Noir, do you like, agree? Are you with more likely of... to watch that? Like, are, like, was that a good decision by Amazon? Like, as you as the audience, are you excited for that series versus not excited at all for the other one? That'd be the question I'd want to know. I think people would be excited because it's Nicolas Cage. I think they would show up for episode one for sure as a curiosity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
But is it supposed to be a movie or is it a show? Show. Spider Man Noir Nicholas K show. I think people will see it through to two and three at least. Uh, but let's see, Brian. As long as you know, I sent, I sent, yeah. I sent Brian a meme of Goofy uh, doing his. <laughs> I don't know what it was referring to, but it's like, <laughs> come on, yo! Yeah, live action series, 1930s New York, aging down on his luck, PI during the Great Depression, set in its own universe, disconnected. All right, some I, I would love to hear the pitch. I mean, that's the pitch pretty much. But I'm like, uh, nah. Th- that well, to me, the pitch the, the pitch they're making is Maltese Falcon with Spider Man. That's the pitch. Humphrey Bogart era style with Spider Man as the protagonist, detective. That that's what I think it sounds like. Yeah. What up with the. Uh... Rorschach sort of vibe right yes yeah no I, I think so I mean alright well you got Cape Crusader I'm... set in the 1940s so you got the world's yeah, greatest right? detective in the 1940s and we got <laughs> Spider-Man Noir in the 1930s so I guess they're gonna get try to get those people too same right. service yeah yeah yeah, let us know in the conversation below. Lots going on. Um, uh, yeah, Nerd Jam Report. The show goes on! Yeah!